What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a special treat for you guys because we're here at the Hill County Barnuminium. And uh, we have basically uh, been working here for the last six or seven months to get this barn dough ready. And our clients are gonna be moving in uh, any day now, probably as soon as we're done here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is my lovely wife, Brandy, and I'm Josh. And so how many square feet we got here? Uh, 2924, I believe. 2,924 square feet. We got uh, four bedrooms, a couple of flex like, spaces that would maybe an office or workout rooms. And like yeah, some uh, homeschool or office rooms, anything pretty much. There's a lot of options. We're going to get into the details here and showing you guys, but it is a single story uh, steel frame uh, for the main frame, as well as a two by six studded wall construction on the wood frame side. Uh, fully wrapped with the exterior sheathing that we use. Um, and we can't wait to take you guys inside. But first, we want you guys go with us and help us to remember some of the good times we've had here on this build. Let's get it going. guys welcome here we are at the hill county barnuminium and uh we're just excited for you guys to be here and show you this finished product uh in this big open space that we got here it's a great room <laughs> yes it is and a, about a thousand square foot of open concept that we have in this space um, now a couple things i should mention is uh, early on in the planning stages when we actually started doing some of the construction, uh, some of the initial plans showed just a 14 foot high vaulted ceiling in this space, like a cathedral style. They actually wanted us to um, center up on the plans with the fireplace. But one of the things that I talked to the clients about and um, they were kind of emphatic about or excited about the uh, raising the ceiling is going with the actual construction, uh, going with the, the purlin lines that we had for the roof ridge lines. And by doing that, it gave a lot more openness in here um, and a lot more height as well. Uh, so uh, the peak is somewhere like 20 to 23 foot as opposed to having just a 14 to 15 foot uh, peak height. So, which gives you a big open space it's really nice and open. And they like to uh, go hunting and all this kind of stuff. So there's gonna be mounts all over the walls in here, which is, uh, they, like I said, they were real excited about that. Um, so a couple key features about this fireplace is the hearth itself uh, has some key stones in here um, that are in here from the original homestead uh, piers. These are sandstone hand scraped or hand uh, made to make piers for the original homestead. So that's a unique uh, piece of information. And we were actually able to find a stone that matches this. Yeah, it matches perfectly. I so it. what is the name of this? It's like a moss, moss, stone, moss, builders. moss stone builders uh, color, something like that. And then the mantle was a custom picked mantle from a hundred year old mesquite yeah, that's so it looks really nice i love how all the dark colors uh, kind of all this collides with this beautiful uh, 
you know, brown, tan, brick or stone color. A uh, lot of space going up here on this, this fireplace. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a wood burning fireplace. So you can, uh, being that this place is, uh, I think 50 something acres out this way, they got a, a lot of trees and a lot of mesquite actually here in this area, in the Hill County area, there's a lot of mesquite trees. So they'll probably be burning a lot of mesquite in this fireplace. So we probably should have started a fire up this morning because it's pretty chilly outside. <laughs> but uh, so moving right along, you can see we do have this open ceiling. A couple of things to talk about in this space is we did uh, a hand troweled texture. Uh, the, the client wanted to do that on all the walls. So we did a hand troweled texture. Uh, we do have stained concrete. Yeah, it was a walnut stain. Wa walnut stained concrete. Uh, we have, um, you know, these big open windows looking back onto the back porch, which we'll be showing you guys here in just a little bit. Uh, so that's kind of the space. I mean, there's really a large amount of space here uh, to set up the furniture in just about any way you'd want to do it. You could set a side office. I'm sure they'll be setting up a Christmas tree. They're going to probably put a TV over the mantel. Yes, I think so. Get the plug and all that stuff ready. So let's move right over here into the dining area and we'll show you guys a couple features over here. So we're here in the dining room area where there are some key features that we wanted to mention. Uh, right now, of course, there's no dining table, but there will be a big spread here for, for too long. And uh, what's some key features you can tell us about here? Well, our clients had quite a few personal things that they like to incorporate into their build. Um, one being this amazing chandelier that they had uh, they got from a family member that had it made 60 years ago, I think in like Mexico, a hand blown glass. And it's got a lot of beautiful decoration and ornate detail to it. Yeah, look at the detail that's yeah. there. It's got a couple of other pieces that match it as well that we have on the back patio. Yeah, so this is hand blown glass and, uh, you know, very unique. And I think it's pretty cool that they were able to use this uh, and salvage it. Now we had to do, uh, they actually uh, pulled a lot of this stuff out of the house um, where uh, our client's grandmother was. Um, but one of the things that we knew right away is we needed to do some special coordination with our electrician because this thing is super heavy. So, <laughs> you know, they didn't make them light like they do these days for your Amazon deliveries and <laughs> UPS. So, so this is the real deal. Um, it looks amazing and I think it's a unique feature for this particular uh, design. Yeah, absolutely. Nice touch in here. So let's move on into the kitchen where we got a lot of details to discuss. Okay, there's a lot of things we can talk about in here. So. Yes, so the countertops are delicatest gold. It's a level two granite. They're beautiful. They've got a lot of colors um, that play into some of our copper accents. The cabinets are stained a dark walnut and they're a shaker style cabinet. I love the color, cons the way that it all contrasts mm -hmm. together. We've got uh, the copper handles and hardware on the cabinets. Which this blends well with our beautiful copper farm yes, sink. the which copper is, sink, it's this beautiful. This is one of my favorite mm -hmm. uh, farm sinks, um, which really gives a good uh, smooth feel to the touch. Right. Um, and this has already started to patina a little bit, which yeah. I think is pretty sweet. Spots, yeah. um, you know, of course, the dishwasher's here next to the sink. Yeah, and we've got a couple of, of kind of copper looking pendants over top and our um, our faucet is a- Old is rub the, bronze. Old rub bronze, yeah. And this has a pull out, which is pretty cool. And the other feature on this island is cool. not only that it's, pretty lengthy. I think it's about a three and a half by, or maybe four by eight foot. Um, but we have this uh, open microwave. How do you do this? It's a microwave drawer and it, you push the button, it opens. Opens wide up. So cool. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's not an everyday install there for the microwave, but right. it's a neat way to tuck that in. But one of the things that I was noticing that we were able to do here is get the drawer space uh, which, you know, I can imagine 
all that you could do under there because we did lose a little bit of cabinet space on the, on the, side, on the, on side. the sides of it so, yeah but overall really nice and there's room for plenty of bar stools on this end as well as all here on the front and honey they did a really cool thing where they did um barn tin on the instead of a black backsplash that's right we, and, we installed this barn tin on the backsplash and another key feature about this is this is from the original barn on the homestead so uh, that's pretty cool when you can take and incorporate some of the old things mm -hmm. to make uh, it new right. um, you know and right here is a, a pretty sweet propane uh, gas grill it's got six burners yeah it's really nice and we did have to convert this over from natural gas to the to propane but it it's all working really nice. It looks amazing in this space. Yeah. So a couple of other things I guess we should talk about for this uh, expansive space here is oh, we, yeah. you know, you can see the continuation of all this hand trial texture as it goes up. These cabinets um, are every bit of nine foot tall on this part. And then we have this beautiful vent hood here, which um, is fully functional, the big vent. And uh, way up there is a windmill that was pulled off of one of our clients ranch from another location. It was an actual working windmill for a well. It's so cool and it plays so nicely off of the, the back Yeah, to, matches to really good yeah. with um, this whole space and has uh, a real good blend tying the wall paint colors with uh, the cabinets, barn tin, and, and the way that it all just kind of plays yeah, off one another. That's really nice. So our uh, uh, wall colors, I don't know if we gave that information or not yet. I don't think so. But the paint colors for in here are a dusty trail. And I think we picked that because there's just a dusty trail to come to down here. the... <laughs> yeah, you have to <laughs> go down quite a bit of some gravel roads to get yeah. to this place. But So this is the actual structural beams that support our roof line that run all the way across and uh if you can if you can kind of time it or not time it but uh do it just right you can have those hit in certain spaces and in this case it worked out really nice because we were able to display two fully covered cedar beams um and uh you know you can tell uh that you got one that has a little bit natural colors or a little bit different one to the other, which I really like. And the client told me that they really like seeing a little bit of the lighter on this side and a little bit of the darker on that side. So, you know, it's a great space. I always feel like we do some of the best kitchens. You know, a lot of people think that with a Barnuminium that you're giving up on some things, but um, you know, I would give up on some things to, I think, have this set up right here. Yeah. It's pretty nice. So overall, uh, this space, there's a lot of space between here. I don't know, maybe like six foot between here and, and the uh, other side. But this is main, made to be able to flow through because we've got uh, another bedroom on this side. And then we've got a couple more bedrooms on this side. So, all right, so moving right from this section, we should talk a little bit about what we got over here. You got uh, the enclosed refrigerator. Got the, yeah, fully closed uh, refrigerator. Lots of extra cabinet space up here above. Um, I like these kind of fridge with the freezers below. Um, I think it makes for a little bit better use of space and storage. Um, and then back here on this side, you can uh, you know set up your coffee or whatever you need cups, things like that. And then going right into here is the big, huge pantry, which uh, at one point in time, we, we actually changed the plan uh, layout a little bit on this to make sure that they had uh, plenty of a big size. Our client wanted to have the pantry to be just a little bit bigger. So there's lots of shelf space from the bottom to the top. Um, and if you're not going to have a corner pantry, I think this is about the, the definitely the best uh, way to go. You got double door access <laughs> to get into it. So, uh, you know, I think anybody would love to have a pantry like that. So it looks really awesome. Um, so moving from this 
space, uh, we want to take you guys into this, uh, the other two bedrooms that are right, that flow through that walk space through the kitchen area. On the front side of the house. So let's go check it out. All right, so right off the kitchen, we have, this is kind of the kids area. The whole kids yeah, section. so it's like a flex space, but they homeschool, do some of those kind of things. So this is a good space to do that sort of thing. Right. Or you could do it, use it as an office or a playroom for your kids. Or a secondary living room, game yeah, room, okay. anything kind of in this space you could do. And it's great because there's double doors and you can shut it off. So if it's messy and you don't want your company to see it, you can just shut it off and you can't see it. Just close this off. Yeah. And then there's also a restroom back here, yeah. uh, which divides between the other uh, optional rooms. Um, which is a fully, uh, you know, full bath, uh, tile shower. And uh, of course, this is a level one granite that we have here. The granite's just a little bit different in these bathrooms. But um, overall, you can kind of get an idea of the space here with the tile that we're using here in this bathroom. Um, we do have uh, some similar features throughout the other bathrooms, but in this particular bathroom, um, you know, we have uh, the rectangular porcelain sinks and the aura bronze features, and uh, there is the matching uh, copper looking hardware that we're using on the cabinets as well, like we did in the kitchen. Uh, and you can see we have the aura bronze uh, faucets as well as the, uh, I guess it's a white porcelain uh, tub in uh, the bottom there, so. I really like the tile on this one. It's a, like a 12 by 24, but it looks uh, like a slate. It's kind of got some of those copper fills and some of the darker, um, you know, play off the cabinets. It's a, re it's a really pretty and tile. And you can see we're using some of that flat stone uh, in the niche for the soap box, um, which uh, looks real nice as well. So, all right, now moving right from there, we're we looking into this bedroom. other bedroom over here. All right, so this is uh, one of the bedrooms, secondary bedrooms, I guess you'd call it. And it's like uh, you said, 11, 11, by, by, 14. 11 by 14. And um, the wall colors uh, in this area. It's a gray stone. Gray stone, that's a Sherwin-Williams. And uh, here, of course, some of the same. I should say that all of our doors are solid core doors. So these are all solid core doors. We've kind of got like this rustic, uh, design or this, I guess it's a little more of a plain design, but um, this is all uh, knotty pine and they're solid core, turned out really nice, but they're really smooth to the touch, which uh, makes for a really nice uh, uh, feel. But one big thing about this uh, is the big, huge walk-in closet here uh, for this bedroom. That's one thing you'll, you'll love about this build is the closet space, but we do have uh, integrated in all of our closets is this uh, automatic switch, which opens the lights, which is great when you have kids um, because you don't want lights being left on all the time. Um, but you can see the amount of display of, of uh, storage space that we have here for shoes, all kinds of things, as well as double racks on both sides. Now we do have the uh, electrical panel in this room, uh, primarily because of where the location was, we had to kind of flip it around a little bit, but you'll see on the other side later where we had some gained storage space, space over there for, for that reason. So moving right from here, we'll show you guys the other bedroom um, off, of this, off of this side. All right, so here's, I guess, the uh, second secondary bedroom. <laughs> and uh, one thing you can notice here is we do have uh, another closet off of this area, which is a little bit smaller closet, but full rack of storage, double, uh, double uh, hanging racks, and it's still a walk-in with the auto light here. Another thing that I might make mention that I didn't uh, before is that all of the baseboards that we have throughout the house are one by six 
knotty pine as well. And here you can see we have the window seals, um, which are uh, arrayed with the knotty pine as well. Um, I like the size of the windows. Uh, all of them are a little bit taller, like five uh, foot tall. So in this particular room, it's a double uh, window, but they're five foot you know, tall. And then a lot of the standard ones are like 3050s. Um, a good ceiling height in here. Um, we've got uh, nine foot ceilings in this space uh, with uh, ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. And so. this is an 11 by 14 as well. So. Yes. Uh, and I know there's, uh, we'll go to the other hall where we have another bedroom and we'll walk to the utility area. All right, being that I have kids, I love to be able to shut this off. Yeah. And I have just company, shut, just shut the doors. And it looks really nice. Yeah. Uh, so another advantage is the amount of space. As you can see, we're standing here social distancing. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of space between the island and this because this space can be used for uh, a walk space. Pass through, yeah. And so this is the other hallway area, which leads to another bedroom as well as a guest full bath. guest bathroom. Yeah, we've so. got a Canyon Wild is the name of the tile in here. It's the same as in the other bathroom. 12 by 24. Mm -hmm. And it does have a little bit of a flare of uh, uh, accent for the soap box as well as the band that goes around in this area. Turquoise. Band. Yeah, it's like a turquoise band. I like that. Um, and uh, of course, having the window there uh, as well, that's in some natural light. Um, we do take our tile all the way to the ceiling. That's a feature that we uh, do routinely in all of our builds. Um, you know, actually, I think it confuses some folks because uh, the other day I saw a comment, somebody said, well, why are all the shower heads so low? Well, the shower heads are at least seven foot. We always take those to about seven foot, but they look low because the ceiling is so high. Right. Um, so having the shower tile go that high, sometimes there's a little bit of a trick on the eye. You think um, that the shower head's low, but it's not. They're seven foot. And we do have an oil rub bronze, uh, shower faucets and fixtures in there, as well as I think it's an eight inch offset for the oil rub bronze uh, sink faucets and then we have the rectangular white porcelain as well as the same level one granite that we're using uh, in the other secondary bathrooms in that space uh, of course everything else is sort of duplicate I love the trimmed mirrors and the globes uh, lights that we're using in this space look really really nice um, and uh, all goes well together so uh, moving right out of this area, we uh, will go and show you the last of the secondary bedrooms. Yeah. All right. So this, this is the last little bedroom. I think it's the daughter's bedroom. Yeah. Um, so it has a special light here. Yeah, there's a, this is a chandelier was something that they bought from an old historic um, hotel out of Houston. Something just to kind of add that little touch for the for the girls room and i'm sure as time goes they'll they might do other customizations and, and things as well but uh not to not mention these huge closet here uh walk-in space uh which is again with the the dual double uh hanging clothes racks and plenty of shoe storage and shelving on the top and I believe this is probably an 11 by 14 uh, room as well. Um, so all the rooms are consistently the same size, but uh, of course all the other trims are the same in here. And I think the paint color in this room is the Dusty Trail. So uh, moving right from here, we're gonna walk into the uh, utility room. All right, let's check out the laundry room. All right looks amazing so one of the things we should say in here is uh, we actually added this uh, full single basin sink but um, it looks awesome i like the uh, countertop space to have in here um, really makes for the space um, the washer and dryer which i think they're actually going to be delivering some of this today 
Um, and then all of the cabinet space that we have here uh, is really kind of spectacular. So um, I, I love how this worked out uh, in this room. But uh, we have a freezer space, which is nice. We have this huge freezer um, that a client actually found. Got a great deal on that. <laughs> and uh, this is the utility area here, which um, if you guys remember in the other bedroom when we were talking earlier, I was explaining that this uh, gave room for some shelf space. Basically, there's a certain distance that you need to have, you know, from your uh, electrical and your hot water or your water heater. So in this area, it serves dual purposes because we have the electrical on the other side and then we have a uh, full rack of shelves in here and a uh, hot water heater over here. So uh, turned out really nice. A lot of extra storage space in these areas. So, um, you know, this is also pretty good spacious, but obviously this will go off the side and it'll make for a good, you know, entry coming in and out. I mean, what do you think about this space? It has a lot of potential for Oh yeah, I love it. Laundry? Yeah, laundry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of would probably serve as a, almost like a mudroom too, because this is probably going to be the the entrance. I point think that's the... exactly what they're going to use it for, and having all this extra storage in here will allow for, you know, probably boot storage or yeah. whatever you want to use it for. So yeah, um, a lot of cabinets. So below we got lower base cabinets and upper cabinets, which is really nice. beautiful. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to head on over to the other side of the house. So we can so uh, the parents retreat. All right, so here we are in the master bedroom. It looks so good in here. Yes, a very nice space. And uh, one of the things I guess you could note about this particular space is we have a tray ceiling in here. Um, and while we're looking at the ceiling, um, we can talk about what we got on that tray ceiling. So. All right, this is barn wood from the barn that was originally on the property that they got the metal, the tin from, and all that. Isn't that cool how you can incorporate some of the original the pieces? The new. Yeah, yeah, some of those original pieces from the homestead that was here, and they were able to salvage some of that barn wood, and of course all that got treated, and then they uh, we installed it uh, while our trim carpenter was here. Um, that was kind of a special piece that we added. Um, but having the tray ceiling there made it perfect for us to be able to put that piece there. And it's a really nice touch. Yeah, so um, there's actually one cool little uh, feature about this. There's actually a 22 bullet that's buried in that wood right up there that we found and we, or that the client found and uh, left it in there. Like, that's cool. Oh. Um, I think you can tell that our clients are real nostalgic. They like, uh, to have these pieces to talk about um, and, uh, you know, really cool people to work with. Yeah, so. every room has a conversation piece. It's yeah. kind of cool. That's true. That's true. And so, of course, this is the master bedroom, which is pretty good size in this space. Uh, you know, you're seeing a lot of all the same things that we have in the other rooms with the uh, six inch trim as well as uh, the window trim and details, uh, the textured walls. Uh, the paint color is a dusty trail in here as well. Um, and with all of the naughty pine uh, the, that we have displayed. But behind uh, you is this uh, prize here, which is a double barn door. It's and so nice. it looks amazing. Um, but behind this is probably would make a lot of people jealous because uh, not only off of your nice little spread that you have for your master bedroom, you have a parents retreat in this area uh, so this is like whatever you want it to be yeah I you mean, could have like your own little living space you could have yeah. an office or workout equipment. it is a great idea i would love to have myself um, wouldn't it be great to have the compartmentalization like that where you could either uh, i mean you could do vice versa i mean you could do uh, your bedroom back here uh, with a living here, or you could do a living here, bedroom here. I mean, there's really a lot of options with this space. Um, but some of the key things, and we'll take you guys in here so you can see kind of what we're looking at. Uh, you know, of course, it's all displays the same way, but we do have this uh, 
optional or I guess it's extra closet space in here which makes for a huge amount of storage space for as you can imagine whatever you might want to do here in the good state of I'm Texas. thinking <laughs> Christmas presents. <laughs> Christmas presents. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's keep it at that. Yeah, I would uh, Christmas presents for me maybe. <laughs> but no, this is going to be a great huge storage uh, space in here uh, and you know which runs the full length of the room um, with a lot of shelf space above um, of course there is a, a lock as well on this door keep the kids out yeah, keeps yeah. the kids out um, of course this is the parents retreat area um, i really love the option here so uh, moving right from here we're going to go into the master bathroom so let's go show you guys that before we go into the master bathroom, we're going to check out the master closet. Okay, let's check it out. So, lots of space in here. This lots is of space. great. And we have lots of storage, lots of rack storage in here with the double hanger rods, uh, seasonal storage, and uh, the shelf space that we absolutely love. So, um, and I think it's always a nice special touch to have the uh, stained rods yeah, so stay the same color as the cabinet it's the little details that really make uh, it all pop but it matches all of the other stain which looks really nice so um, and we do have the auto light for this closet as well so Great. everywhere now we can go in the bathroom <laughs> all right let's go to the master bathroom let's check it out okay coming right in here one of the things that really helps the space is having this huge mirror in here, which I know they just installed yesterday. Yeah, it makes it look, look a lot bigger. Um, yeah, and and you know having more of a narrow design for your bathroom, um, it's a good way having the mirror to create uh, expand the space, you know, in this area, which is also nice for when you're getting ready and. Um, you know, having the big mirrors. I know we had those in our bathroom and, I, and it really helps the space out a lot. Uh, but of course we have the continued uh, hand trial texture that's in this bathroom. Um, one of the things you notice is this long double vanity. Uh, now originally in this area, uh, the cabinet that actually is the wall mount cabinet that's over the commode um, was supposed to go center, center there. So, so it was gonna be, it was gonna really chop it up and you weren't gonna be able to- Yeah, it was gonna be sort of an obstruction to the view as you walk in. Um, I think it was a good move to kind of X that out and have a little more counter space and a huge mirror. Relocate the storage on the other side. Right, and I, I just love how all this turned out, but uh, you know, early on the client sent us pictures of uh, kind of the look they were going for and it had all this uh, natural stone in here um, and this cedar which uh, has kind of a special story behind it as well. Did it come out of the barn as well? Yeah, this is part of the uh, actual lumber from the original uh, barn from the homestead before as well. So we were able to incorporate a lot of this. Um, you know, we have this pony wall here with beautiful uh, frameless glass that we're using here um, in the shower area, uh, which uh, you know, having the frameless allows you to open in or out, but in this uh, shower area, we're using a slate tile, uh, which was completely sealed. Um, I know that's a big thing when you're using slate, you need to keep in mind. Um, you have to seal all that, but a couple key features in the shower area is the uh, dual soap boxes and the niches that we're using there with the flat stone pebble rock in the bottom and of course, the cedar features, uh, and we're using the oil rub bronze fixtures in here. There's um, also a rain head. There's a rain head and has a diverter valve, which is a nice option to have in such a sizable shower like this, which is really, really nice. And the water gets super hot from what I hear. Yeah. And I, they also put a little bit of tin at the top as well. So this is some of the same barn tin mm -hmm. uh, from the barn. So uh, yes, we have that, that featured at the top um, with the dual lights uh, because of the unique design, uh, having just one light in there wasn't gonna work. So we had to have two lights. 
Um, so I love the way this turned out. Our clients are super pleased and they should be because it looks amazing. Um, so the rustic feel goes along with the rest of the house. It does. And now looking into the end of this restroom, you have the nice double obscured glass that sits up and above the uh, white uh, freestanding tub. Um, which is beautifully displayed with the wall-mounted uh, faucets. Well, it's a white tub on the inside, but the outside looks like the copper kind of... It has that copper feel, doesn't it? Yeah. Not uh, only that, but it has a jetted feature as well. Yeah. So You can't get in this tub. No, <laughs> no I can't get in it because it's water. wet. <laughs> There's water in there right now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it actually feels pretty spacious in here. You know, it's great. I love how it And there's something special about this light fixture too. Actually, this light fixture in here, uh, which is displayed under this medallion, um, this light fixture actually came out of our client's grandmother's house, uh, which was uh, in uh, their childhood bedroom, which is a pretty cool idea. To be able to use all these fixtures like they were able to do, I think is really makes it special. And it looks awesome. So, yeah. you know, so a lot of great things to point out here. So I hope you guys uh, love what you're seeing in this space. All right, so this space is right off of the great room. And I guess I should talk a little bit about how this all came about because we already planned on having a back porch, right. but um, you know, our clients decided to do some changes and we're going to be adding a pool, which they're in mid construction right now. Um, and they wanted to add some screened in porch space. And so, uh, they came and wanted me to potentially maybe add another area over on the far corner. And I said, Hey, we got this great big sizable porch. What if we just, uh, closed it in, you know? And uniquely enough, I had actually built a porch for our clients um, on, a, on their previous home. previous home, and they wanted us to do something similar. And so that's uh, where uh, we set out to uh, work with them on that. And I kind of ended up, uh, after consulting with the client, um, talked to Brandon about it, and I pretty much let Brandon go with this, and he is the one that uh, worked the design um, for the porch and they did the and he did the whole layout with the clients and everything. So um, Kudos to Brandon because they got it done and it looks amazing. It's gonna be great to keep bugs out mosquitoes <clears throat> That's right. One of the things I guess I could uniquely tell you about is the screens um, Now I found these uh, this screen material. I was at a friend of mine's in Graham, Texas um, at, a, at his lake house and he had some of these uh, screens which, uh, and I told him, I said, man, where did you get this durable screen material? I would love to uh, have that. And I found it, um, he sent me the link or whatever to who provided it. And I actually got these out of Olney, Texas. And, uh, you know, so Olney sells, I went over there and picked all that up. But that was that's a little bit of a trip. <laughs> a little bit of a trip for us, but it was a neat way to do it. You know, doing the screen porch, uh, one of the things that is more difficult is you don't want you know, every time you touch the screens to be uh, loosening them. And so these are a real thick material um, and durable for, for the touch. So, uh, you know, but I guess a uh, couple things that evolved here. As we were mid construction, we did this. So we were able to add a full uh, working sink. Um, there's a refrigerator space out here. So we got the full functionality of the sink space and we've got this awesome propane grill uh, here, um, which you can put uh, the connections and stuff here on the bottom. And then we've got the granite countertops out here in this space with all of the blending and matching stone as well, which, uh, you know, I love the color schemes. Yeah, it looks great. So it looks awesome. And they've got all the cedar accents, the little doors underneath access the, that's right the plumbing and and we've got one more there to cover but other than that that's all we have left which we have the ceiling fan space um and there's gonna be a lot of cooking going on <laughs> here on this back porch but what a great way to be able to gather um you know and it's 
It doesn't really block out too much light either. So I really like that. You get a full view of uh, all the landscape uh, in the back. So. so they did the three um, ceiling fans with lights and then they also have these special ones that match. Um, That's right. These are a continuation of those special fixtures uh, that our client's grandmother had um, from 60 years ago hand-blown glass out of Mexico. That's so that's really awesome how that worked out. So, um, you know, of course we have the fully covered soffits here. And, um, you know, the uh, this is part of the same exterior that we're using on the outside, so. And just all the cedar, it's really pretty. Yeah, lots of cedar in here. So, I love how this turned out, it looks amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be a great space for entertaining. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be really nice. Okay guys, so that pretty well concludes uh, the walkthrough portion of this video. So let's take another look, show you guys all the highlights of this video. Okay. All right, guys, we hope you've enjoyed the tour of this uh, Barnumanium build here in the Hill County area. And uh, I hope you'll stay tuned for more if you haven't already subscribed to the channel um, because we've got a lot more builds coming. And uh, 2020 has been uh, great for the expansion and the growth of our company, but 2021 is looking to be uh, really, really busy. So we got a lot coming down the, the pipe here. We so. do. So uh, with all that in mind, we want to tell you guys about some special uh, offerings that we have now. Mm -hmm. And you guys need to stop on by our new website. We've got some merch. Do you even Barndo, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We've got... Uh, what a Barndo. What a Barndo. You guys uh, are from Texas. You'll love that kind of stuff. We've got uh, making Barndos great again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one's a hoodie. you got the hoodie here. This is Josh inspired. This is his beard. Uh, beards, barndos, <laughs> and barbecues. So, isn't that cool? Uh, you guys need to stop by over hat. to our website. We also, you can pick up a hat over there um, and get some merch. Yeah. So, Christmas presents, Christmas presents, all that. Future barndos. Stop by, yeah. buy your husband or your wife. Uh, something for Christmas from the channel. So it helps to support the channel and the continued, uh, you know, continuation of what we have going here. And, uh, you know, we can keep paying Drew to do such awesome work. <laughs> so anyways, we hope you guys have enjoyed spending some time with us. If you haven't already followed us on uh, Instagram, do that now. We're really close to 10,000 subscribers there. Uh, this channel, I think we're around 60,000, so we're excited about that. And TikTok, we're growing on TikTok, which TikTok. she loves. Uh, but <laughs> we're having a lot of fun with the whole social media aspect. But Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, 
Uh, and for all those that are looking for ideas to build, uh, reach out to us and we'll see if we're in your area. But definitely check out our new website, TexasBestBarnuminium.com. Uh, I'm Josh Helm. And we're wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best. Texas Best.